Oh my god. <laughs> Did Darcy just marry Howard the Duck? Howdy folks, welcome back. It is Marvel's What If Night. We are up to, what are we up to? Season 1, Episode 7. What if Thor were an only child? You have given up all hope for any of these being interconnected. So I don't think they're going to be. And of course, I would, just like Marvel, they'll at the end, they'll, they'll make them all interconnected now, just to spite me. Um, so, this one independently, what do I think that it means by a Thor only child? Okay, that means no Loki, right? Maybe means no Hela, although he didn't really know about Hela. He thought Hela didn't exist anyway. Uh, so growing up without a brother who was getting into trouble that he could uh, try to look better than, um, would he become kind of a brat? Kind of a spoiled brat? I don't know. But what does it mean to the world for Thor to be an only child and for there to be no Loki? I guess the only way to find out is for us to ask the question, well, what if? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, cool. Natalie Portman. Tom Hiddleston as well. Kat Dennings. Yes. Kobe Smulders, huh? Taika Waititi. It's a prison. Karen Gillan? Seth Green. So that means Howard the Duck, right? Ponder the question, not ask the question. What if? All right, so this starts out like the Thor movie. Darcy. Rainbow Bridge, here comes. I, am I bad that I love this episode now only for the reason that we get an animated Cat Dennings, who is like one of my favorites? She's so funny, and beautiful, but funny. Too late. Time to party, huh? <laughs> okay. This is gonna be awesome. Many lessons. Yeah, this is what I thought. But in another universe. Time to party. <laughs> Heimdall will be watching. Heimdall watches everything. And Thor one, Thor did act childish, right? That's why Odin sent him to Earth to Midgard and robbed him of his powers and took a hammer away from him. Because he was being childish, right? There's just, just nobody here to compare him to or to keep him in check, I guess. Whoa, I just saw a lot of people. Yeah. All the different ships. From <laughs> it is an alien invasion. Just not the bad type. Got some scrolls there, huh? Oh, it's the hair thing again. Yeah, there we go. It was Karen Gillan, all right. Maybe out of everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> Did Darcy just marry Howard the Duck? That's awesome. Okay, that couldn't be true, right? That had to have been a dream. Right? There's no way Thor got a tattoo. No. And Darcy and Darcy and Howard the Duck is funny, but come on. Well, what do you know? It really happened. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Rocket, huh? Yeah. He's <laughs> referring to Rocket as a little rabbit, of course. I love it. Zoologist. I don't okay, so far this one is just awesome and funny and hilarious and like Ragnarok sort of funny. But when's it going to get serious? Oh, I see what's going on. The threat is going to be that Thor is out of control in the party sense, in the sense that he doesn't really care about what he destroys. And if he did destroy that planet from partying too hard... Then he's going to destroy Earth from parting too hard. Okay. Got it. Who's now taken to the skies. Today we'll set the tone for diplomatic relations between our world. Not the first encounter. Oh, Loki is a frost giant, of course, raised by the giants. What did you really boom in private? <laughs> oh, look, it's shooting star. Make no, it's place. Captain Marvel. Yes, yes, star. Guardian word for women like you. Party pooper. It's two words. Okay, this one's for Fury. 
That hammer can't really hurt, Carol. Come on. Okay. Why is she at Stonehenge now? Ah, there it is. Woo! Let's do this. <laughs> it's all good fun, but this would not be an even match. She's she's cosmic more so than he is. He doesn't have, he doesn't even have the Odin Force yet. <laughs> not the hair. How at you? <laughs> right back where they started. Army, you've got a cat? What's his name? <laughs> oh, Top Gun! Oh, pure Maverick! Crater in this planet. Taking down Kappa Kappa. Kappa. There you go, that's the explanation. She can't, apparently, because she destroyed the planet. <laughs> Freak won't uh, not now, Howard. Hello, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. the Duck. Wait, is this the uh, man who knows? Ah, so she gonna call to Heimdall? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this this right now, you know, for just pure entertainment and laughs and having a good time, this episode wins the entire series. And he's gonna break it. Oh, no, Carol. Oh yeah, he called. She called the Heimdall. Oh wow, took her. Sending her to her mother, his mother. She's literally. Jane is literally calling his mom, telling his mom about all the bad things he's doing. I just love it. Fire on your command. Down. We're done here. <laughs> Mom's been called in. We're done here. Nukes. I almost feel bad for you. Try to enjoy the rest of your time here. Where, where, where are you going? C come back. No, 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 no. You, Mantis you is there. And we're keeping the scoot scoots. <laughs> we're cleaning that up pretty quickly. No, that was leaning already. <laughs> A little nitpick, but wouldn't she introduce herself as Carol Danvers? But anyway. Uh, I can explain. <laughs> so the end result is similar. Jane and Thor are in a relationship. Um, I love the Darcy Howard the Duck marriage, though. That's just that's worth the price of admission, man. Yep. End result, still in a relationship. <laughs> I was about to say, this was going to be the only What If episode that ever ended with a happy ending. Okay, that looks like Infinity Stones on Ultron. Oh, goodness. Vision in an Ultron suit? What the heck happened there? Okay. Until that very end where they kind of said, I guess we can maybe to be continued this one. This was just nonstop happy, good fun. Uh, it, it, it still was happy, good fun. Uh, definitely, I have to admit it, my favorite episode of the entire series so far. There was no heavy stuff going on. You know, no no cliffhanger. Well, I mean, there's a cliffhanger, but I mean, you know what I mean. Um, no death and destruction, no dismay, no sorrow, no you know, vengeful creature, vengeful person killing off main characters. It just was fun. It was hilarious. It was a bit like the T'Challa um, Star-Lord episode. It was a lot like that one, actually. <clears throat> Except this one wasn't somebody else was Thor. This wasn't a Gene Foster Thor thing or anything like that. This was just a, what if things played out a little bit differently, but everybody still had pretty much had fun, right? Um, but I love this one a lot. It was so funny. Um, I don't even know if I caught all the laughter in my reaction and all the I would smile a lot and I, unfortunately I'm probably never going to see those in the edit so I won't be able to show you those but um, this thing was just really fun and entertaining and I loved it. So like I said, in result uh, Jane and Thor are still kind of in a relationship um, a budding relationship. This is like Thor, Thor one time frame I guess. Um, <clears throat> yeah, especially since Jane and, and Darcy were out there in the field. 
Darcy is now married to Howard the Duck. It's canon. <laughs> In this universe, it's canon, which I think is just awesome. Um, like I said, Price of Admission, Kat Dennings doing animation, doing a voice and animation. Um, I, that's, this could all be the Darcy story, and I would have I would have loved it. Uh, but everybody else played a really great role and got to see a lot of other characters. Uh, Captain Marvel fight with Thor was pretty fun. Uh, it was intense a little bit, especially when she realized, when she decided to not pull her punches and to just go all out at the end. Uh, but then, of course, Mother showed up, and she's like, oh, okay, your mother's here, so <laughs> I'll let her deal with it. Um, I just loved it. I love the resolution with calling Mom and everything. I love Jane's idea of calling Mom. Uh, great stuff. Um, it was great to see Kobe back. Um, absolutely wonderful to see her character. Uh, didn't get much Nick Fury because <laughs> he got knocked out cold. So that's why Kobe's character had to take over. Um, wow. I mean, who did we not see? We didn't see Tony Stark, although at the end we see Vision in an Ultron armor with many of the Infinity Stones, it looked like, on the front of his armor. But we, earlier we saw Nebula saying, I think I can hear my dad calling, um, that being Thanos. So is Thanos not the big bad in this universe? And it's Vision as Ultron? Oh, Vision as Ultron makes total sense. Of course, duh. I'm thinking of, of uh, yeah, Avengers 2 now. The Vision body was intended to be Ultron's body. So this is Ultron uh, in the Vision body, but it's not Vision. Okay, that's going to be an interesting, if they continue that one next season, that's going to be interesting. Absolutely, I would love to see that villain. Wouldn't you guys love to see Ultron in the Vision body with Infinity Stones? What he could do? I guess it could do. It's Ultron. It just has a male voice. Um, that would be really cool. But man, this was funny as hell. I want you guys, to, please, in the comments or wherever, can you can you tell me what you loved about this? What were the funniest bits for you? What characters did you love? What jokes did you love? Um, I'll try to include the ones where I actually made a sound and laughed so that I can show you guys where, where I thought it was the funniest. But uh, I, I loved it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.